Fine, and welcome to another tutorial from Holmes. Today we are in the GeoNerds typewriter tutorial. Cool, so we have our background here. It's a texture. I've used this texture in my text tutorials before, but I will show you. Let's go ahead and go to our shader view. Let's just bring it up here. I'm going to hit control and spacebar so you can see the whole shader view. This is what I have for the shader view for this jeans like texture. Cool. Let's go ahead to and move into the geono section. So we're just going to go ahead and let's create a simple plane. Go to mesh and plane just for now. We won't be using it, but just as a placeholder. And then we're just going to go ahead and navigate to our geo nodes window. I'm going to hit Shift and F3 until we get there. I'm going to hit New. I'm going to delete the input because we don't need it. Cool. Let's go ahead and open this window up. I'm going to go ahead and add a series of nodes. So let's go ahead and add a splice string node. Or oh, slice string, sorry. That's the one. Slice. Slice string. Cool. Let's go add a string to curves node. Cool. Let's add a value node here. I'm going to add a curve fill node. Or fill curve node. And I'm going to add a set material node. let's go ahead and link these up so we're going to have the value that goes to the length and that's going to enable us to animate the length of the slice string we're going to have the string go to the string here and the curve instances to the curve and the mesh to the geometry and the geometry to the geometry output let's go ahead and hit control and spacebar let's go back to our menu here and see what we have Cool. so nothing showing here because we need to type the text that we're actually going to write so in this instance I'm going to go ahead and write typewriting type or oh, typewriter sorry let's go ahead and give it a capital T <coughs> cool and we still don't see anything and that's because we haven't set the value of the length right now we have it to zero and this basically says that zero characters will show Cool. So if every increment we increase by, every increment of 1, we're going to see a new character show up. And as we increase the value, we can see that the characters are showing up. Cool. Now we want this one to be from the center. I'm going to change the font of this one. So let's go ahead and access this font. I'm just going to go to the area where I have it. We're going to use Corio Prime Bold. That's a free font. You can use that. That's free. And this is a nice font for this typewriting effect because it's a essentially a monotype. It's it's a typewriting um, font from that era of fonts. Cool. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and set the material. I'm going to choose this blue right here. And let's scale this up a bit. Cool. I think this is about right. Yeah, I think this is about good. <coughs> so, what we're going to do now is that we're going to duplicate all of these, except of uh, including the set material here. Let's duplicate them, and let's go ahead and join these together with a join geometry node. Join geometry. Cool. Uh, let's join these up. Okay, once they're joined up together, let's go ahead and change the type of the second one. We're going to change this to geometry nodes. Cool. And uh, let's go ahead and hit control and spacebar so we can see 
our node sets a bit better cool so what we're going to do here is that we want this one to be controlled by this one such that when the typewriter effect goes to zero the geometry node um, text increases or as it tends to zero the geometry node increases so that the typewriter shows up and then the geometry shows after so what we're going to do we're going to set both of them to zero <coughs> and with that we're just going to go ahead and right click here it will be left, left click for you if you're using windows or if you use the left click function i use right click and we're going to copy as new driver and then what we're going to do there is paste that driver here so now this is control this is controlling this right but we have to change some of the features of the driver relationship so let's go ahead and edit the driver here and instead of using an average value here we're going to use an expression scripted expression i'm just going to say multiply by negative one <coughs> excuse me so as this tends up to positive to negative it will multiply by negative one and thus this will increase as this goes to positive this will multiply by negative one and this will decrease so if we go back to our original view by hitting control and spacebar and we maneuver this we can see that this does indeed toggle between the two cool all right let's go ahead and set the material for this one we're going to pick a yellow material here for the geometry nodes let's try this again awesome so it shows just fine so what we have to do now that we set up the geometry nodes we're going to go ahead and set up the background projection the zoom projection and we're going to set it up such that all of them are controlled the background projection and the geometry nodes are controlled by this one value slider okay we're going to move on to the background here the projected focus so all we have to do really is just duplicate this this geometry nodes then we're going to come down to the geometry node shader i'm going to click this two here this is going to change it to a single user cool just going to go ahead and scale it up to the size that we want all right now we're going to change some of the nodes right here we're not going to use a we're not going to have two separate um set material nodes so we're just going to decouple those cool you can just decouple this just zoom in there so I decouple it cool and decouple it from here just going to have one here for both of them so we're still going to use the joint the joint geometry but we're only going to have one material that spans across the two the two words cool I'm uh, just going to scale this up. And this here looks about right. I'm going to go over to the area we have center. We're going to pick left this time. Pick left for both situations here. And it will move it, but you can just move it back with G and X. This looks okay. And then what we want to do is link the materials that we're using here. Um, for this to the background so it's the same material let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna go ahead and set the material to this material here i think it's this one no sure what the name of this material is i'm gonna have to check it okay let me just double check this quickly what material this is zero zero two Cool. So it disappears because it's the same material. Uh, what we're going to do is just go over to our render panel and we're going to add ambient occlusion. So let's go ahead and make sure it's up. Oh, it's on already. Let's go ahead and take a look. Looks like it's right to the plane, so I'm going to lift it to see if we can get a better result. Cool. and as we lift it up off of the plane so it's not on the same z-axis we see that we're getting some shadows here yeah this looks pronounced enough 
cool and what we're going to do is control all of these with this value shader here so even this one is going to be controlled by the same value shader let's go ahead to this one I'm going to copy the as new driver and select this one and just paste it here paste driver cool and that should mean that all of the drumming channels are controlled by this one slider awesome and this is basically the background focus and the typewriter tutorial if you did enjoy this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you have any questions be sure to ask this is a nice tutorial it goes over jump to notes a uh, very popular effect we use it all the time i use it all the time and um, we want to see more of it in bigger projects so it's good to have an individual topic that looks at it specifically so until i see you again in another tutorial get up and design a new door later